hey, hey, what's going on, fellas? What's going on? What's going on? Oh, man. We are going live early. It's just a minute early, but uh, I had to get in because I haven't been on for a hot second. And, oh, man, I've been anxious. I've been anxiously awaiting, and it's been, whoo, it's been a day. Uh, but you know what? You learn something new every day, and that's what we're all about right here on this show. And if you're not familiar, my name is Brian, a.k.a. Uncle B. And, um, yeah, what we do around here, we talk about men's sexual health and, you know, how to get better, how to make lives better. And if you could do me a favor, go ahead and hop into the, the comment section and drop a line. Let me know where you are representing from. What is going on with you? Uh, that's much appreciated. <laughs> uh, and, oh, man, let me go, go ahead and get my stuff together here. Uh-huh. We got Tucker in the house. All right. Indianapolis is in here. Yay, fellas. Um, if you did not know, if you did not know, if you're having issues with your health, your libido, your sexual energy, there are fixes for it. There are ways that you can get better. And that's what we're going to talk about today. Specifically, we're going to talk about how to level up your sexual energy, how to get to a 10. Uh, I came up with the sexual performance scale years ago so I could talk with uh, my coaching clients uh, and, you know, just quickly find out what's going on with them. And the fastest way to do it is just to figure out where you are on the scale. We're going to talk about the scale and we're going to talk about how to get to a 10 on that scale. Most guys I'm working with are five to seven. If you're not familiar with this, uh, we're going to fit. We're going to talk about that in a hot second. All right. Uh, Michigan dope law. Welcome back. Hey, What's going on, sir? Oh, man, I have missed you guys. I miss you guys. I'm really happy uh, to get back into it because today we're going to be talking about what it takes to have reliable erections. Um, no problems at all. On demand, spontaneous morning erections. How do you get to that next level? You know, when I'm talking with my coaching clients, you know, that's the thing I, I tell them. It's like, look, you can reach it, you know. As you get older, there, of course, there are limitations, but when you're when you're into it, when you're dialed in, it's amazing. Guys, it's amazing. Uh, as someone who's gone down to a five, uh, worked my way on up, it's a difference in how you feel. It's a difference how you how people react to you. It, it's amazing. So we're going to be talking about that. So um, specifically, we're going to talk about that scale, how to get to that level 10, and if you did not know, um, later on, I'm going to be talking about a course that I came up with. It's called ECS 25, uh, just so that you can actually get to a higher level. So uh, stick around to the end. I'm going to talk about that. As usual, if you have questions, go ahead and put that into the chat box. Like, uh, Philip, what's going on? My man, Philip, New York City in the house. Love it, love it, love it. Okay. So, um, yeah, just, of course, uh, I want to make sure that if you have not done so, go ahead and like this video. Go ahead and like it. Hit the like button. Keep the likes up. And um, if you have not subscribed to this channel, do that. That That's actually a good idea. <laughs> it's a good idea so you can uh, uh, get some more of this information, turn your notifications on, all of that good stuff. So let's go ahead and get into it. And like I said before, go ahead and hit me up with any questions that you may have. And... First of all, I just want to talk about the sexual performance scale for those guys who do not know. It's a scale from 1 to 10. 10 means everything works. 1 means you need to go to the hospital. <laughs> and most guys I'm working with is between a 5 and a 7. And during that, in that range, basically, you're talking about being unreliable. Um, okay. Yeah, we're going to work with some things here in terms of getting these questions answered. Um, but yeah, ATL in the house going on, Ray. Uh, but yeah. Uh, when we're talking about, you know, if you're in that middle range and you're, you're just not getting that mm, as in, all right, let me just break it down. If you're a five, it takes a lot of work for you to get to get an erection. If you're a six, uh, sometimes it is, sometimes it's not. If you're seven, it's actually a little bit scarier when you're a seven because you could be good all day long. And then all of a sudden you're trying to, you know, have sex and then it, you just, your erection is gone. It's like, what just happened now? If you're going up that scale, at eight is where you have an erection on demand. An erection on demand is just when you like, mm, I'm thinking about something, and boom, you, you know, thinking about something you did the last week, you know, that 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 thing that you did that was so great. Yeah, you can just have an erection on demand. 
And the next level up, that's a spontaneous erection. You know, when you were in high school, and that's exactly when the teacher called. <laughs> you had to stand up. You know, no, no. Uh, yes, that's a spontaneous erection. And then, of course, the pinnacle is a morning erection. That's a level 10. Um, and level 10 is, is levels to levels 10. <laughs> so we're going to break that down, too. So, um, uh-huh. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness yeah dope law has a good point he's talking about wills and stuff he's because he's dope and he's talking about the law but yeah that's a good point uh yeah go ahead have that conversation in that chat room <laughs> uh ray says sometimes an eight and sometimes i'm um, like a six yeah that happens that happens there's reasons to why that happens the more information you have the better you can control that so let's dive into that some more so the whole thing about sex is that you're giving energy and that's an important thing to understand. A lot of times we get into the, the you know, the, just the physical realm, the societal realm. But we're here to have sex. We're here to procreate. We're here to make sure that uh, the future of humanity continues. We're just a blip <laughs> right for right now. But we're given energy. Men, we have, you know, we give life. Women give birth. And when we're giving life, you have to give energy. And so it's important that you understand that concept because the higher you are on the sexual performance scale, the higher you have, the more energy you have. It's just that simple. If you're a five, if, like my man says, sometimes you're a six, sometimes you're an eight. Yeah, yeah, those variables happen. But, you know, if you're able to lock into an eight, nine, or 10, you have more energy all the time. And in fact, you're going to have a healthier child. It's just that simple. Uh, my whole concept is if you're like a woman, you know, she's giving birth. It's a eight. It's a nine month process. Sometimes eight, but nine month process for guys. If you're trying to have the best version of you come out of her, then you need a nine month process beforehand because you get one shot. Yeah, yeah. We like Eminem up in here. You get one shot. <laughs> so, um, and the thing is, there are actual benefits to getting to that highest level. The benefits are better sex. Hey, if you don't have to worry about your erection at all, <laughs> well, yeah, sex is more fun. You have more control. You have more stamina. Yeah, that's a good thing. You can last as long as you want to. Um, and all those different things, you have premature ejaculation or delayed ejaculation, you have more control of your body, so you have control of your ejaculations. So basically, if you're at a 10, you're a super healthy 22-year-old. That's all there is to it. And like I said, there's levels to this. So if you have sexual energy, it's felt at a nine. And yeah, as a guy who's gone through, you know, a part of my adulthood where it was like, yeah, it, this is the thing. Your, your energy can go down and you don't even recognize it. You don't pay attention. I ask guys all the time, when's the last time you had a morning erection? And they're like, uh, ah, hmm. When's the last time you had a spontaneous erection? Um, hmm. Yeah. You just stop. You don't think about it. And there's reasons for that. But, you know, when you're at a nine, you see an attractive lady. It's like, ooh, ooh, you can't help but go over and, and something in you just fires up. Even if you can't. <laughs> you're married, you're in a relationship. Even if you can't, if you just see a woman that attracts you, you, you get more energy. That's what's supposed to happen. Um, it's literally God saying, go forth and procreate. Um and some guys haven't felt that for years. Hey, what's going on with your Milton? Uh-huh. <laughs> Clean the plate. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> My teacher told me to stand up during class one time. Uh, <laughs> next thing you know, yes, we all got that story. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> but here's the thing, guys. It gets even better. Get to pure sexual energy. Get to a level 10. Uh Get to a level 10, your testosterone is on high, your confidence is on high, everything is on high because, well, everything works. And here's the crazy thing. When you're five, six, or seven, shout out to uh, Dope Law. Uh, he mentioned uh, Brother Samuels, who uh, passed away, and he talked about the sexual marketplace value. I actually did a video talking about what he talks about. You know, he influenced me, influenced a lot of the ways I think about this channel, but one of the things I even wanted to bring up to him was the sexual marketplace value in terms of men. For women, they're completely different. For men, it's sexual. It's like you have to, you, we have a member that has to move. So if, you, if you're if not reliable, well, think about it. You know, you're going out with a girl 
and your your confidence isn't high, you, you this you're not functioning correctly. What is your marketplace value? You're you're going out into the world saying, "Hey, I can do some things. I can make you feel better. I can we get married. I can impregnate you." If you can't do that, and I've heard some guys who actually they couldn't. They the guy actually said he knew going in to the marriage why the marriage wouldn't last because he knew he couldn't perform. Unfortunately, he didn't have, you know, the ECS 25 course. He didn't have me to help coach him and guide him, unfortunately. So, yeah, it came to pass. That's what happened. Um, and the thing about the sexual marketplace value for men, it, it, the whole point is just sex. You need to be able to do it. And the older you get and the higher your score, the more value you have. I mean, think about it. You, you're older. I'm talking to men between 25 and 65. As you get older, yes, it becomes more difficult to have erections and have erections on demand, things like that. So you run into issues. And so your score is lower. And, you know, if you're a guy who gets older and your score is higher, whew, you're good. <laughs> you're good. Uh, the less competition you have and the more opportunities you have. Uh, life can be good. But. You have to take care of yourself. And yes, ladies do know that as men get older, some men don't take care of themselves. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they know. They know. Now, let's talk about what it takes to uh, get to that level 10. The things you have to pay attention to is three things. There's the physical, there's the mental, and there's the, the environment. The physical side is just not just being fit, but being healthy. Um for those guys who do not realize, for a lot of bodybuilders, a lot of bodybuilders actually pass young. They got aesthetics. They got, you know, the huge. I mean, now they get ridiculously huge. But the things they do to their body are not healthy. The extra things they do, the, you know, supplements they take, they go, they're, they're pushing. They're pushing the boundaries of their body. And, yeah, so not only do they have problems with erections, they also have problems with their entire life. So it's not about being just fit. It's about being healthy. Uh, when you when you have that combination, you're fit and healthy, you actually give off energy. We as humans, uh, somebody says your eyes are shields. So when we're looking at another human, we can't see the energy that they're giving off, but we can sense it. So the more energy you're giving off, especially if you're dealing with women, the more attractive they are, attracted to, they are to you. I mean, this actually goes into the level of smell. They can smell the difference in you. You know, a woman would talk about a man having a good smelling funk as he just went to the gym, worked out and everything. He comes back, he's smelling good. Mm, yeah, yeah, because there's less toxins coming out of you. Uh, same thing for the way you taste. So, yeah, you know, you in oral, when she's tasting, mm, yeah, she can taste the difference between a dead cow and a fruit bowl. That's just the way it is. <laughs> That's the way it goes. Uh-huh. Ah, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. Your testosterone levels are high through your pheromones. Very, that's, you're on point with that. Um, let's get into the mental side. The mental side is you have to be stress-free um, because obviously stress increases cortisol and that decreases your testosterone. So being a 10, you can't be stressed all the time. Obviously life has its stresses, but there's ways to deal with it. And specifically for guys, as we get older, uh, how we deal with stress is different. You know, uh, when we're young, we like that drama. You know, it's like, yeah, we're ready to fight. We're ready to, you know, get it on. Somebody says some steps on the shoe. You're ready to go for it. When you're older, it's like, uh, nah, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> I don't want to do. I want, I don't want them issues. I want you to have me having those issues. Uh-huh. Yeah. My man, prodigal son, it must be the pheromones. Yes. Pheromones are big in that. Uh-huh. <laughs> squats and kettlebell swings changed my life yeah yeah it's a whole bunch of exercises we won't get into that right now um but yeah yeah there is a difference in that mental side and the environmental side this is the crazy thing i remember being at howard university just walking around there's fine women everywhere transferred to maryland university it's fine women everywhere well it's because i'm in college <laughs> they're fine women and they're looking to connect so wonderful then you get out there into the real world where you have soccer moms, 401ks, you know, discussions about groceries. Uh, that you know, the shape isn't the same, the married, so 
um, they're not taking care of uh, all types of stuff where it's, the environment's not the same. You're not being stimulated. So, yeah, is that going to have an effect on you? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I remember years ago going to uh, a guy's house. He had a, a boat house and saw his house, his regular house, saw, met his wife. Everything was great. And so I was going out to a shed with him. And my girl at the time was with me. And we go out to the shed and there's this big poster of this woman. Beautiful woman, you know, much younger. She, she, poster. And she was in her 20s. This guy's in his 50s. And it, she's like, why do you have a poster of this woman and you have a, such a beautiful wife? It was like, she, my wife knows. It's like, yeah, I need stimulation. So I'm not, this woman on this poster has not, doesn't want any parts of my, my old head ass. But my wife does. So I have a little bit of stimulation. Things going on in my brain. It's like I go in there, I'm, I'm handling with her. There's, there's not a problem. If you don't have stimulation, then there's an issue. Like I always say, foreplay is for men. <laughs> we need that foreplay to stimulate our testosterone. Um, so, yeah, if you, you know, when we nowadays we have an artificial environment, instead of you actually, you know, having a conversation with a person right there in front of you, you end up. All right. Okay. Are we hopping back in with it? Uh huh. Uh huh. Microphone check. Okay. Cool. Put the air on. Yep. All right. Sorry about that. Uh, my hands must have done something. I hit a wire. Uh, but we are back. We are back. Sorry about that. All right. So let's go ahead and get back into it. Um, but yeah, we were talking about, yes, you need to make sure if your rela your relationship needs to be on 10 so that, uh, uh-huh, <laughs> chickity check, microphone check, micro microphone checker. All right. Thanks, fellas. You good? Uh, sound is on. All right. Cool. Cool. Let's get back to it. Yes. All right. So, um, but yeah, yeah, you're in order for you to be on 10, your relationship has to be on 10 and um, full transparency. Uh, Uncle B, mm -hmm. I'm not a 10. I'm not a 10. I came up with the scale. I'm not a 10. How is that possible? Oh, just get to 50. You find out. <laughs> if I, The things that I'm doing now, if I was doing them at 30, already a 10. Not a problem. But uh, at 50, we're talking about a good minimum 500 happy hours, uh, drink after drink after drink, you know, drinks during the week, drinks on the weekend, uh, Super Bowl parties, things like that. Um, you're talking about decades of eating meat. I'm the guy who used to eat 200 animals a, a month. And then this was like four years before I realized it's probably not a good idea. <laughs> uh, and just levels of stress. I mean, I own a business, so stress is there every day. Um, and, you know, salt, sugar, not really paying attention to it. Um, and yeah, yeah, I, you know, for those who have been, who've seen me for a while, uh, over the years, you may have seen me sort of go down <laughs> in size. Uh, I think when I first started uh, doing this channel, I was 275 pounds. Now I'm um, 50, 55 pounds lighter. Uh, but still, you know, when I was at my prime, uh, I was 185. 
So, you know, it's difficult. The older you get, it, the harder it is to get to a 10. I wish I had this information I'm telling you back when I was 30 because I, I would have stayed at 10. I would have set my lifestyle up for a 10 like I'm doing now. And the youngest you will ever be is right now. So you need to pay attention right now in terms of being able to get, you know, to the best you. Um, so what does it take to get to a 10? We call it. <laughs> EC is 25. E25 is an exponential energy formula. It's a way of taking your energy, sleep, exercise, intermittent fasting, and soul, and scoring it and tracking it every day. Now, how long it takes um, to get to a 10 depends on how dialed in you are to the program. Because basically what we're doing is reverse engineering nature. We're re reverse engineering ourselves away from what we're doing in society. The thing that I tell guys all the time is that it's not that your body won't do what it's supposed to do. It's that it's a combination. We've been taught the wrong thing and we're living in an environment that doesn't support us at all. I mean, I'm surrounded with lights. A uh, hundred years ago, half the United States did not have electricity at all. So if it's dark, you're going to sleep. You're not going to McDonald's. You're not going to the movie theater. You're not looking at your phone. <laughs> so everything has changed. Um, there isn't a possibility of me eating meat at every meal. That was literally impossible. Sugar. Think about this. Sugar was, let me just say discovered, but was uh, started going around the world in the year 1400. It's not too long ago. Sugar is relatively new. Now sugar is in everything. Sugar is in our cereal. Sugar is, you know, people think they're doing a, their kids a favor by like, hey, hey, go ahead and have a piece of candy. Go ahead and get a donut. Here's a Slurpee. Yeah, this is all new. Our bodies can't handle it and it's showing up. Um, whenever it came to exercising, exercising wasn't an option. It was like, you need to get to the store. You need to get to food. You have to walk or ride a horse, <laughs> which is still more activity than, you know, you sit still and you sort of turn a wheel and you uh, uh, press your foot on the <laughs> or the gas pedal. Completely different setup. And when it comes to intermittent fasting, that was impossible. People nowadays, we are all the time. This is something that is new. Back in the day, people got up, drank coffee and went about their way. That was it. There wasn't the concept of breakfast is new. Um, where were they going to have milk? a <laughs> hundred years ago. It's no refrigerator. Um, you know, you went out to the cow and you're going to, you know, put that into some cereal. It's like, there's no boxes of cornflakes. So all of this is new and our level of stress is completely different. Um, you know, back in the day, the level of stress, there was level of stress because people didn't live as long. Childbirth, uh, was dangerous. Um, you catch a disease, you, there's no hospital to go to, the, the medical equipment is nowhere near what we have right now. So, yeah, there was a different level of stress, but at the same time, you just hit points where it's like, well, what are you doing today? Well, uh, I reckon I'm going to, I'm going to fish. We would lose our minds just listening to how slow they talk. <laughs> <laughs> because we're used to things happening. We're looking at yeah, my phone, this, that, everything that's going on. But now we're at this point where it's like, oh, we're stressed about our phone bill and the Netflix and, and just, just random things that don't actually apply to the realness of life. They're, they're sort of manufactured things. You don't have to have Netflix. You don't have to have that bill. I mean, you don't have to have the internet. You don't have to. But eh, like I said, society, the world, the way thing, we're set up to fail. And when it comes to men, specifically, because we need to give energy, if our energy level goes down, the reason why on the sexual performance scale, if you hit a one, you need to go to the hospital, is because your energy is about to peter out. I mean, literally, peter out. Um, you're, you, I mean, think about it. If you ask a person who is, a, is sick, and is about to pass to get an erection, would it happen? Say no, <laughs> because the answer is no, absolutely not, absolutely not. Uh-huh. All right. Ah, uh, great, great question, great question. Uh-huh. 
Let me get these questions. I've been talking here. I've been ah. Hold on, hold on. Mm -hmm. All right. So some guys have some questions about beet juice. Does it dilute the formula? We're talking about African fly. All right. Let me uh, go ahead and put that in there really quick because that does uh, apply here. So. When we're talking about uh, beet juice, beet juice is great because it increases, uh, it has nitrates in it. Once you take it into your body, it's going to turn it into nitric oxide. And nitric oxide is a gas that passes like this. It's very fast, but what it does, it pushes the blood through your body. So you need nitric oxide. In fact, every time you breathe in, uh, your nasal passages, it's turning that air into nitric oxide. That's how you work. So if you stop having nitric oxide, a.k.a. you stop breathing, you die. Certain foods such as beets increases the nitric oxide level. So uh, that helps. Now, when it comes to adding African fly to it, yes, indeed, that helps also because now you're taking, you're increasing your nitric oxide. So you have more blood flow going through your body. What African fly does, it actually starts taking that blood and moving it to the center of your body, a.k.a. the erogenous zone, a.k.a. your energy giver. So that's the reason why one of the side effects of taking African fly is that your hands and your feet feel cooler because the blood is leaving there. Uh, go ahead and do that. You know, <laughs> the number of times uh, after having sex, she's like, oh, your hands are cold. I was like, yeah, that's because I'm getting ready. <laughs> the body is getting prepared. Uh-huh. Uh, -huh. uh Mm hmm. All right. Elijah. So if I'm 23, what could I do as of now to be a 10 on the scale? And is there a guide? Uh, yes, there is a guide. It's called uh, ECS 25. Uh, actually, let me go ahead and get that pulled up here so we can uh, we can talk some about that. So uh, what I would say for anybody who is uh, 23, just pay a lot of attention. Because there are things that are happening now that um, just didn't exist. Um, just literally just did not exist uh, years ago when it comes to um, when it comes to our health. So, for example, uh, when we're talking about, uh, like I said, you know, McDonald's being 24 seven, that was impossible. That was impossible just a few years ago. Uh, well, I'm going to say a few years ago, um, 15 years ago, you know, just, the people just went to sleep. You know, when I was a kid growing up, McDonald's was a once a month treat because we had to go home and, you know, McDonald's actually cost more. Um, and you had, you know, now it's cheaper is how you get a, a, a sandwich from a cow from the middle of the country. Or North Carolina, that's where most of the uh, pigs come from. Most of the slaughterhouses are in North Carolina. Uh, and it ends up on your table. You kill the animal and you divide the parts up, put it into a bun, and it ends up on your table and costs less than an orange cost. So when I say that we're in a screwed up situation, it's, it's very systematic. Um, and that's the reason why you need a system that's going to be able to deal with it. Uh, this is the reason why I came up with the whole thing of ECS 25. Uh, let me go ahead and bring that up here in a second. Boom. All right. So uh, huh. let me let me see if I can take this. Eh, we'll just leave it right here. So uh, when it comes down to it, uh, what can you improve on starting tomorrow, uh, Elijah? Yeah. Um, these five areas right here. The reason why I talk about these five areas right here is because um, it doesn't matter what year you were born. Um, it doesn't matter. Uh, uh, here we go. Uh, doesn't matter what year you were born. Doesn't matter um, uh, what century you're in. Uh, when it comes down to it, uh, this applies to anyone. This applies to somebody who was born 2,000 years ago. Somebody who's going to be born 200 years from now. Uh, all five things apply when it comes down to it. You need your energy. You need sleep, exercise, intermittent fasting. And so these things happen regardless of what year you're in. And so that's the reason why I came up with ent this entire system is to uh, so that I can help guys um, who are trying to figure out how to get to uh, the best version of themselves. So. Uh, it is called ECS 25. We do have an actual course for it. Uh, we're actually launching the course now. And so what it is, is seven modules of, of video. 
uh, of me giving you everything that I've talked about for the past 300 videos, uh, turned it all the way down into one course. And so with this course comes uh, a challenge seminar, a, ch a challenge webinar. So we'll have a webinar that breaks down everything you need to know about the course, um, gets in depth, and you know you have access to all of this stuff. And then, you know, what we're, what we're going to talk about inside of the webinar is specifically how to score yourself with this pro, uh, with ECS25. Um, and so when you know how to score yourself, basically what we're talking about, let me just give you a, a quick uh, preview. What we're talking about is in all five areas, you can score yourself a five or a zero. That's how you get all five. You get all five, you get 25. <laughs> That's why it's called ECS 25. If you miss an area, then you get a zero. So let's say, for example, uh, during the day, you're eating the things you're supposed to do. You got the right sleep. You didn't get a chance to exercise, but you did do intermittent fasting and you did do meditation as far as your soul is concerned. Well, you got 20. You got 20 points out of that 25. That means that you're on the upward spiral, but you're not exponentially improving yourself as if you got a 25. Um, and just to let you know, guys, um, if there's a question about whether or not this works, it, of course it works. Um, because we're talking about what actually happens with your body. Um, this isn't like rocket science. This is something that we should already know, but we is just the way the world is. And so we also have a group where you can post the information. So we're sort of challenging each other. That is the entire purpose of uh, this process is to be able to challenge um, ourselves and each other to get better. And so with the Challenger Pack, um, yeah, you're getting daily encouragement videos coming from me. Uh, we have the live webinars every Thursday. Uh, we have the online community that you get access to. And of course, we got a certificate of completion for going through this entire thing. Um, the big thing about all of this to me is the other side of it. It's the recommendations. This is stuff that I wish that I knew years ago. Of course, we have African fly, but pine pollen, black ant, Tangat Ali. These are different herbs that really power you up. I mean, I have my black ant mixed with African fly, uh, mixed with, what did I have? Milk thistle in my tea today. If you know these things, when I talk about energy, when I say I'm on a nine, the, the cool thing about energy is that you don't even recognize that it's there. It's just something that you do. <laughs> um, you know, when they say youth is wasted on the young, what they're actually talking about is uh, the fact that, mm, yeah, you, well, they just have so much energy and they don't know what to do with it. Well, I'm telling you right now, at 50, I have a whole bunch of energy. It's just there. I wake up with energy. You know, even times when I have bad sleep, I have energy. It's because of all the things that I've learned and doing uh, the stuff that I, I'm pointing out right here. So it's it's really important um, to understand what it takes in order to get to a, a, another level. Um, we also, we actually go up. There's three different packs, uh, three different levels to this course. Basically, the first course, the Challenger course, is designed for you to be able to do self-study. The squadron pack is when we get into groups. So you get two 30-minute private groups, video sessions for three months. Uh, you actually get two bottles of African Fly for free, lifetime access to videos, and actually a free home testosterone kit. Because, yeah, you take this stuff, this actually works. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, TV wasn't 24-7. That's right, Ray. Uh, yeah, so, you know, of course, we talk about African fly. It gives you harder, longer, stronger erections, and this is, can help you get to an 8, 9, or 10 even faster. Um, and it's all natural. You know, we got the eight different herbs in there. It increases blood flow and testosterone. So the thing to understand really, though, is the important thing. We actually partnered, partnered with uh, a testosterone uh, testing kit. Uh, let's get checked. These folks, I've used their, their service several times. The reason why I want you to actually have this is so that you can see what's working for you. So the goal here is to increase your testosterone level. Even, you know, I have uh, clients who are at 28, you know, they're like, uh, my testosterone levels are low. And that's because that's what happens if you're not doing the right things. We're set up for failure. Uh-huh. Uh, and clean whistle. Milk plate, James. Milk thistle, is that good for erections? Uh, actually, milk thistle is, is good for your liver. 
uh, which, you know, if you like me, like I said, I had those years of happy hours. Um, <laughs> you need to clear out. You need to clear out. And, you know, the thing about the thing to understand, fellas, is that whatever you do for your health period is going to help uh, with your uh, erection. So, you know, it's, it's not just about, you know, fixing one part of your body. I think that's where everybody gets confused. You know, it's like Viagra. Yes. All you need to do is take Viagra. What Viagra does, it stops the blood from leaving out of your body. Uh, I'm sorry. It stops the blood from leaving out of your penis. And so it's a fix. It's a quick fix. The problem is your blood flow is already has problems. Your testosterone is low. More than likely you have inflammation issues. More than likely, yes, your liver has problems. Um, you know, your, your insulin is probably too high. There's a number of reasons why you have erection issues and just trying to fix one, one piece of it. Uh, that's not, that's not actually going to work out too well for you. So, you know, um, so in this, the quadrant, squadron pack, like I said, you know, you get the, the private group sessions, two bottles of African fly, uh, the free home testosterone kit, and of course, access to all the videos. And this is an interesting question for you is like, how much is this going to cost you right now in terms of your relationships? When we're talking about your girlfriends, your wife, the kids, time, stress, health, you know, all of this stuff, it all adds up. So it's better to take care of yourself right now. Uh-huh. Mr. Vinny asks, can you add African fly to food? Um, not really recommended. Um, it's actually better just to take it uh, with water. Uh, you can add it to hot water and just use it as tea. Uh-huh. Uh, Philip asks, not sure which to take that the top in addition to African fly. Um, it's an herb. You can actually you just take African fly by itself, but there are ways you can stack it. That's the reason why I take it with uh, with beet juice, uh, with other, you know, you can add other herbs to it because other herbs do different things for you, for, such as uh, black ant, which is actually literally a crushed ant, black ant from China. Um, you know, that gives you a lot of energy. So African fly by itself will increase your testosterone, which is going to give you energy. Energy is going to increase your blood flow, which is going to give you energy. So uh, you add some black ant to it, boom. Um, add something like pine pollen to it, um, that is going to help as well. So it's a, it's a number of, guys, there's 250,000 edible plants on the planet. So it's a lot of different herbs. That's the reason why we're offering other herbs along with African fly. African fly works for the vast majority of men, but not everything works for everybody. So, uh, hey, there's some other herbs out there that can work with you also. Um, and one other thing I do, I do want to mention, guys, the older you are, the more you cost. This is just the truth. The older you are, the more you cost. So you retire at 65, uh, all of a sudden, all these aches, pains, and bills come. So really what you want to do is start taking care of yourself right now. And what's the number one way that you can get into something and that it works for you? Accountability. That's literally it. Uh, that's the reason why you went to school. The reason why you, if you're going to uh, study something, typically you want to have a teacher. You want to have uh, other people in your class for accountability. That's the reason why we have the live webinars. We have the ECS 25 support group, uh, the private group coaching session with me, um, and the home testosterone kit. Because, you know, you can sit there and tell me all day, oh, yeah, uh, Uncle B, yeah, uh, I, I ate correctly. Uh, I stopped drinking all that wine. Uh, I stopped smoking all that stuff. <laughs> It's like, uh, why'd your testosterone levels go down? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Accountability is for real. Uh, and one of the last things we do have, guys, uh, I'm going to say this before I get into some more of your questions here, uh, is the commander pack. And this is for my guys who are truly committed. We're only taking in 10 committed guys uh, to this. This is where I'm with you uh, every week. I'm with you every one private 30-minute session every week just so you can um, – you can, we can answer questions. It's, I actually personalized the challenge game plan. And this, you know, um, and I recognize that not everybody can afford this level. But the thing that is, uh, I, I found most useful for guys, I'm trying to figure out how to do it on a mass level, is personalizing it for you. Because typically what happens is, I ask you questions, you give me answers. 
And then next week, I'm going to ask you some more questions and got <laughs> some more answers coming. It's like, oh, you didn't mention last week that you, you have a drinking issue? Uh, you didn't mention last week that you have a, uh, oh, oh, you, you, oh, oh, so porn is an issue. Yeah. Sometimes it takes a while to, uh, to get, figure out everything that's, that's going on with you and your system. So, uh, but yeah, guys, this is the main thing right here. I want you to get addicted to your health. It, it's to me, uh, this is what changed, um, uh, my life. In terms of, like I said, you know, if you saw my earlier videos, I was coming in at 275 and I was actually after coming down from 285 uh, where I was pre-diabetic, uh, had uh, benign prostate, uh, BPH. Basically, I was uh, it was a precursor to uh, prostate cancer. Um, things weren't going right. Getting out of bed was painful. Um, I had the list. I have an actual list on my phone of all the things that I was doing incorrectly. And once I started correcting them, you know, all the way down to not having dandruff anymore. I mean, your body changes in amazing ways. That's the reason why when I talk about your health, this is a whole holistic thing. It's just for men, we have a measuring stick right there in the middle of our body. <laughs> so um, if that measuring stick is working, then a lot of other things are working. But as long as if you have everything working, that's when you get to attend. That's why you have to be addicted to health. So. It's really important that you, uh, if you're looking to uh, change your health, yeah, to me, this is the, uh, the best way to do it because there's, there's more to it than just like, I'm going to take a pill. So uh, we do have a pre-sale. If you want to just want to go to ECS25.com right now, um, you'll see that the Challenger Pack is just $395 and we'll go ahead and throw in two bottles of African Fly, which is $110 value. Anyway, so, you know, you're saving uh, up front right then and there. And for the squad pack, normally for $1,495, we have it for $995. This is a pre-sale. This will be ending shortly. Uh, so go ahead and make sure you take advantage of that. And for uh, the guys who want to work with me directly, that's $299, $2,995. And there's no discount on that um, because this is I'm trying to save your life. I'm just focused on you. Uh, you get into the best version of you. So, uh, Hustle Kings, hey, hey, I appreciate that, man. Uh-huh. All right. Uh-huh. So delayed ejaculation advice. I'm going to get to you, man. I'm going to get to you, man. Let me go ahead and wrap this up because I do want, guys, if you're ready to get started with this, just go ahead to ECS25. Um, and the questions are, are you committed to getting erections on demand? Um, because it's not enough just to get the information. If you look at my videos, I got a ton of videos, a ton of information, but implementation execution that's what we're about around here in order for all of this to work accountability um you know i have my accountability partner right over here uh he's in the room with me <laughs> right now helps me set up set up all this stuff we talk about health all the time getting to the gym and you know always like hey, hey this health issue what can i do we start doing the research um and you might be thinking hey uh will i stay committed through the program, because I know you got to some other programs that didn't work out. Accountability. Is this program right for me? Yes, it is because of accountability. <laughs> I can figure this out on my own. Of course you can. Like I did. It took me uh, quite a few years of being solely focused on this. If that's not you, then you need some accountability. <laughs> uh, and if it doesn't work, can I get my money back? You're right. You can, because I want to be held accountable too. So uh, I don't want you to miss out. So guys, go ahead and, you know, go to ECS 25, check it out, uh, get into the program that fits uh, for you, because that's going to make a hell of a difference in your life. Not now, but also also into uh, the future. So uh, let's go ahead and get to some questions because I saw that popped up. Uh huh. So I think I hit you with the good. Um, uh huh. All right, let's talk about one that I have an answer that's a little bit controversial. Uh, Mr. Vinny asks, delayed ejaculation advice. Um, here's the advice. Stop. Just, just stop. <laughs> um, because basically what is happening, we have been locked into, and I just did a podcast uh, with a young lady. We were talking about this. We get locked into this concept that every time you have sex, you're supposed to ejaculate. That's not true. Every time you're supposed to, it's great to have an orgasm, but not to ejaculate. 
So if you have delayed ejaculation, it's because you're not supposed to ejaculate at that point. It's that simple. It's like, stop. Enjoy it. If you're enjoying the sex, then that's great. If it's just getting to a point where you're just going and going and going and nothing happens, well, then cool. Stop. Good. Enjoy the sex. I, I get there's some there's a satisfaction of the satisfaction that people tie together with ejaculation is orgasm. Those are two separate things. So once you understand that they're two separate things, it's sort of like with uh, women having multiple uh, orgasms. Men can have multiple orgasms too. But um, once it was known that women can have multiple orgasms, more women started reporting having multiple orgasms. They didn't know what was going on. And it was like, oh, oh, you can do this? Oh, yeah, yeah. Hey, having multiple orgasms is fun. Um, and having sex without worrying about ejaculation can be fun. Um, you know, the, the, obviously you're worried about, you know, what she's thinking, have that conversation. It is not supposed to be that every time you have sex, you ejaculate. Think about this in the context of not having, um, condoms. If men throughout history always, I mean, and there's a, obviously points where this did happen, where these two things were tied in together even before condoms were around, but um, the whole concept of you having sex and every time you're getting your woman pregnant, well, yeah, you, you would, it wouldn't, you know, some people had farms and they would have like nine kids, you know, unfortunately about a good four of them would pass too soon. That's the reason why you had that many number of kids. But if every time you ejaculated, your woman got pregnant, oh my God, why do I have 34 kids? Doesn't make any sense. So what was supposed was had supposed to have happened <laughs> was that you have an orgasm, an orgasm where you feel everything, but it isn't coming out. So uh, you may want to check out, um, I forget the author's name, but there's a book called The Multi-Orgasmic Man. Um, and they talk about this entire concept. And so, yeah, um, if you're having delayed ejaculation issues, it's because you're not supposed to be ejaculating. Now, if you're not ejaculating at all, that's a different issue. But if it's taking some time for you to get to enjoy yourself, there are some guys I tell her, what? You can go for 45 minutes and they're going for 45 seconds. So <laughs> uh, there is that difference there. So I hope that answers uh, your question. Uh-huh. Ooh, Dylan Byron. I've got the African fly and black seed oil. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah, that's powerful right there. Uh, black seed oil is going to, yeah, it's going to give you some energy also. Uh, good one. Uh-huh. Uh, dope law. Hey, I appreciate you, man. I appreciate you. Uh-huh. Yes, yes, yes. Accountability is, is a must. Accountability is a must. All right. Um, if you got some more questions, go ahead and throw it in there. I am, uh, just going to scroll right, right back through. Make sure I didn't miss it. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, Big Daddy still rocks. 29. So if I'm overweight, is there anything I can do while I'm losing weight to have more quality erections? Uh, you can take African fly. <laughs> That's, that would be my first answer. But in terms of uh, in terms of what else you can do, I mean, there's a plethora of things you can do. Uh, the reason why we talk about the whole ECS 25 system is because it covers everything. And where you're trying to lose weight and there's a person who's gone through the process of uh, starting at 285 and now down to like, eh, I'm somewhere below 25 pounds. Um, I'm trying to get down to 185. Uh, so, you know, a hundred pound journey. I'm, I'm on my way. Excuse me. One of the things we cost constantly hear, um, and I'm going to hear some people say, <laughs> who are going to not agree with me. Um, calories is not a thing. It's not a thing. The way you calculate a calorie is by setting food on fire inside of an encapsulated um, uh, chamber. You set the food on fire and the amount of heat that heats the water that's outside of this chamber is how you calculate a kilojoule, a.k.a. a calorie. And that has absolutely nothing to do with you. Why would you set food on fire and then say, humans, this is the way you figure out your energy? Uh, that's the exact opposite of how we exist, because we're fluid. You have never had fire inside of you. I know because you're still alive. So 
what ends up happening is we're doing all this thing of cutting calories, my thought process and my studies and science shows that, uh, yeah, the way that, first of all, it's a question for anybody who wants to debate me on this. If you don't, if you get this question wrong, uh, put this in the chat section, if you don't believe me, uh, <laughs> If you get this question wrong, uh, then we, we know what's going on with you. The question is, do you um, know how you actually lose weight? Do you actually know how you lose weight? That, that's, that's the question. And the reason why that question is necessary to uh, understand and ask is because it comes out of, out of your breath. So that has nothing to do. You don't, you're not burning anything that comes out. You know, there's no smoke coming out. So the way you lose weight is by through your breath. So we're talking about a very complex system of taking in oxygen and turning it into CO2. You're just a windbag. So when it comes to actually losing weight, you have to combine several different things. Obviously, you have to pay attention to what you eat and the volume that you eat it in. Even if you're eating, you know, elephants, eat plants. Actually, the... Uh, all herbivores are the you know largest mammals. They're larger than carnivores. Um, so obviously, you know, completely different body system got that. But you know, you're talking about volume. Also, you're talking about you know when you sleep, your body repairs itself. When people talk about calories, it's like, hey, then how do you lose weight while you're sleeping? Because you are you burning calorie? You're not taking a run, but you can get on the scale at night before you go to sleep. You get up in the morning, you get on the scale, and you lost weight. Especially if you do specific things. If you primed your body and you get high quality sleep, your body is going to continuously change. It's going to repair itself. It's going to increase the testosterone level. It's going to increase your HGH. Uh, if you are doing things correctly, it's going to lower your cortisol. So you could actually lose weight by going to sleep. So there's there's a formula to this. And ECS 25 dives into that actual formula because if you are stressed, and the re one of the reasons why people have issues losing weight is because you're stressed constantly. Stress does two things. One, it lowers testosterone, which helps you lose weight, but it increases your, uh, what it does, it increases blood circulation to your brain so that you're stressed. It's like, I have to think more, you know, and it's going to take uh, energy and, you know, uh, circulation away from your digestive system. So if you're constantly under stress, bad job, bad relationship, bad bills, then you're constantly going to have issues. So, yeah, that's one thing I want you to uh, to pay attention to. Uh huh. All right. Huh. I wonder why they blocked that. Mr. Vinny asks, uh, any comments on Terry Crews' 90 day sex fast? Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, sorry for his wife. Uh, I mean, you know, if, my, my thing is when people say that they're uh, refraining from sex or, you know, refraining from masturbation, things like that, it's like, what else are you doing with that? So if he's doing that and that's it, then it's like, okay, you're just not having sex. There's plenty of humans across the entire planet who are not having sex right now and won't have sex for the next 90 days. Does that make them better people? Not really. Now, if you had a spiritual journey, if you're uh, you're doing some meditation, if you're trying to cleanse your body, if you're doing something along with that, then you're doing something special. If you're just not having sex, then you're just not having sex. That's yeah. There's a whole bunch of people in prison. Hopefully, not having sex. Uh, we're not having sex. Uh, there are people in marriages who are not having sex. <laughs> it's not you know, like 90 days later. Yes, wife, I'm a much better human being that we've been. Denying ourselves, that just <laughs> doesn't make it too much of a difference. Uh-huh. Ah. Hmm. All right. Uh, Dylan, I find taking African fly makes semen retention a lot harder. Yeah. Yeah. That's because African fly works. Uh, because it's so powerful. My advice on, any advice on that? Okay. Semen retention while taking African fly. Wow. That's a that's a uh, that's a new one. That's I'm not sure what. Um, don't get turned on. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you know, your semen. Re and let, let me be uh, clear for those guys who are just questioning that semen retention is basically saying that you're having sex but you're not ejaculating. So uh, if you're taking something like African fly that's going to improve your sex drive, 
then that becomes a lot uh, more uh, difficult. So, ooh, uh, <laughs> ooh. So, uh, I guess my question is: I mean, I understand why you're doing semen, semen retention, uh, but yeah, you do have to. Uh, you have to. Yeah, you have to slow down with your activity. Um, or, or you know, just practice more control. That's a, that's a that's a puzzle piece right there, sir. That is a puzzle piece. Uh, hey, fellas, we are, we wrap up at about ten o'clock, so it's like nine fifty four right now. If you have any questions, go ahead and throw that into the comment section right now. Um, Want to get to Hustle Kings? When you change your diet and stop watching porn, will your performance change? Absolutely, yes. The answer is yes. Uh, the question is, what are you changing your diet to, and what was it before? And when you're saying you stop watching porn. Um, yeah, we stop watching porn by itself will, will change your performance, uh, sort of, um, really depends on you. So, um, so yeah, when you're changing your diet, if you're humans optimally run on plant fiber. So if you're consuming more plant fiber, then your body is going to naturally start performing better. Your gut's going to get better. Um, your skin's going to get better. Everything's going to get better. So yes, definitely do that. And the issue when you're watching porn is that porn is, is not there. You're using yourself to pleasure yourself, typically watching something that's not there. So, you know, back in the day, uh, this ancient Rome, they would go and watch other people have sex. And that was their level of porn. But the people were in the room. <laughs> now we're like watching screens. And yeah, humans aren't actually this size. So uh, um, that's, that's not helpful. That's not helpful. So yeah, definitely if you're uh, changing, uh-huh, all right. If you're changing, uh, changing up your porn consumption, you're dropping your porn consumption altogether, one of the things that will happen over a period of time is that you'll naturally go back to, um, um, you know, just having stronger feelings for the person that's there. Um, the thing I do want to say very quickly is that if you're watch porn for too long, you can actually detach yourself. And this is something that's scientifically proven and very scary. Um, the whole thing about, about being intimate is that you're into your mate. So if you are visually thinking about someone else, you know, men, we're visual. If you're constantly thinking about somebody else, it's like, I'm having sex with her, but she don't look like Pinky Triple X. I'm having sex with her, but she doesn't look like the three women who are doing that thing. So I'm imagining having sex with her and the three women, you're you're not being intimate. Uh, I had a conversation with a lady who said that, yeah, I noticed that when I was having sex with this guy, he just checked out. And the issue could become that you you check out like permanently, like you can't attach to somebody because in order for you to get turned on after so much ridiculous stimulation, nothing real turns you on. So yeah, be very careful with that. Uh-huh. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Vinny asks, uh, can you take too much African fly? What can happen? Um, you could try. I've tried. And this is what happened. Not much. I just pissed it out. Uh, that's that's what happens. It's like drinking too much orange juice. Uh, your body is only going to absorb what it needs, and the rest is just going to. Hey, it's too much of that. You know, you can leave now. Uh, so you're not getting th anything extra, or you know, uh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't like anything else. I wouldn't recommend overdoing it. It's like, yeah, let me get a six month supply and see what happens if I take it over six days. You know, first of all, so a waste of money. Second of all, why would you do that to your body? Um, yeah, it's not it's not worth it. So, yeah, um, and we do recommend for guys as you get older, uh, you can increase your dosage of African fly, and that's because you know your body can get used to it. Um, like anything else, it's going to get used to. It. We call African fly a healthy salad for your testosterone, and but after a while, it's like, well, yeah, if you just keep eating the same salad, but you're not changing your patterns. ECS twenty five is all about changing your patterns, so you get to, need to get that going. Uh-huh. Uh, Philip asks, is it bad to mix um uh, herbs like sustanch and horny goat weed, then African fly? Um, this thing's called contraindications. So basically, we're talking about uh you're taking this and you're taking that, 
and they don't pair well together. The reason why you have eight different herbs in the African flies because we know they pay, pair well together. Uh, when you start adding in other herbs, one of the things I would say is to go slow, do it gently, and pay attention. So, um, you know, certain things like substanch, substanch, I like, but I have a reaction to it. So, you know, I started off and I'm like, ah, oh, sustains, because the first reaction I had was great. And then it just started like, oh, wow, this is just a little bit too much. It's a little bit too much. So you want to pay attention. Anytime you're taking any new herb, any new anything into your body, you want to pay attention to make sure that it's actually working for you and not harming you. Uh-huh. Uh, Hustle King, ready for the challenge and new beginnings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Muscle up, muscle up. All right, guys, it is 10 o'clock. Hey, make sure you go to ECS25 and ECS25.com. That's E S E I S.com and check out the, uh, uh, check out what we're doing there in terms of, of changing up your patterns, having challenges. It's all great. Thanks for showing up. Thanks for the great questions. Appreciate you, Philip, uh, Hustle King, uh, Mr. Vinny, uh, Dope Law, all you guys, um, Ken Art. Hey, appreciate you. Uh, we will be back next Thursday night, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Make sure you look out for the video. That Oh, we got a dope video that's coming out uh, next week also. So some people like the uh, the my comedy. <laughs> so, uh, But as long as you get the message out there, that's the most important thing. So, hey, love all you guys. I will see you next week. And peace to the out. It's Uncle B saying get your game up and get that work. <laughs>